Well, Wes, Christian, I say less than a year after taking a majority sharehold in Aston Villa, we're back in the Premier League. Just sum up your emotions here at Wembley today. It's unbelievable. You know, it's what we hope for, obviously, but to be here and experience it was just an incredible experience. So happy for the team, happy for the fans, happy for the city of Birmingham, happy for ourselves. It's been really wonderful. Christian, did you always believe it could happen this quickly? Yeah, I did. I really did. We, um, you know, we knew that when we got all our players fit, that we had a tremendous coach, tremendous team spirit, and an incredible set of fans who were with us all the way, even in the tough run, you know, December, January, they were there believing. And once we got on a roll, we, we became unstoppable. And I, I was very confident. Now, see if you're a lifelong football fan, just tell us about your experiences here today. It's an amazing. It beats anything I've experienced all my <laughs> life since my daughter was born. <laughs> so it's a great experience and uh, we love it. And uh, there's only one way to go from here, only up. Presumably we celebrate tonight, but we sweep it under the carpet quickly and we move forward with big plans. One step at a time, we have accomplished the first step and we have a very great team uh, working and we'll be very busy uh, in the summer, We're looking forward for next season. Wes, is this very much chapter one of Aston Villa under you guys? It is, you know. Uh, uh, this used to be one of the great clubs in the world, and it deserves to be one of the great clubs in the world. The support that it's got with the history it's got, and we need to get promoted to start that. And so there was so much pressure around that. And frankly, we played 10 playoff games in a row getting here. So there was so much tension to get to this place. And now today is really the icing on the cape. This was necessary, but not sufficient. Christian, you guys as a group made the decision to bring Dean in last October. How inspired has that proved to be? Well, it's certainly a good decision. Uh, I think he's really... Um, instantly galvanized the team, the players. Um, our new owners felt very strongly that we wanted to have a coach totally committed to attacking an attractive football and um, somebody who really understood what Wes just said, understood deeply the history and stature and standing of this club and they were good qualities to build on and um, I think he's done a brilliant job and I'm, I'm thrilled for him actually. He's, the, he's only the second coach in nine years to get a promotion in his first season as a coach, so we're, th we're thrilled. Yeah. I could get just a word off you all quickly, just how much you'll now look forward to Premier League playing the likes of Manchester United next season. We look forward to that, we're ready, we're going to be ready next year. <laughs> Where's well, looking forward to the Premier League? Absolutely, get to watch you know games on my TV set rather than on my computer, right? So <laughs> it's the basic things. But you know, I have a lot of friends in the Premier League, a couple of owners up there, and to get to go to those famous fixtures and compete against those clubs is just so special. It's going to be amazing. Christian, for yourself, the man on the ground, uh, busy summer ahead in the office. Yeah, very busy. It would have been busy either way, I must say, because uh, that's the nature of professional football. But um, yeah, it's going to be a really exciting summer now as we begin chapter two of this, uh, of this great story. Congratulations to you all. Well done. Thank you.